When I was growing up in the city, my mother told me I was never allowed out at night. When I asked her why, she said it was because wild animals had escaped from the zoo. Running errands to the corner bodega during is such a haunting piece um right from the beginning i love that first shot hazy and then into focus on our lead and i feel like i could fully understand his inner state of that paranoia of that uneasiness within himself um and i really loved the the movement through the city following him as if we were the one hunting him um as the tiger I think really great sense of surrealism, of unknowing what is real and what is fabricated in his mind. But throughout, I had that looming, brimming sense of foreboding that something was not going to to go well. And uh, we got there in the full circle experience. I thought it was really sharp and dark and captured that feeling of being in the city especially the, the isolation of it and always looking over your shoulder to make sure that you're protected. This film seemed to be about transference of a mother's fears onto her child and the power of her suggestion and how it impacts him. He tries to express his fears through his painting, something in a way of a creative outlet but he's overcome and it's haunting and tragic. So many questions of is this story based on some truth or completely fictional? We meet a painter in a city who goes through many frightful events and or hallucinations of scary animal shadows, masked monsters and childhood flashbacks. I like the dizzying camera work throughout, notably during the subway scene. Excellent frantic performance of the lead character. Thoughtful narrator voice, great writing and suspenseful pace. The ominous soundtrack really added to the eerie quality of the film. It's a great build up. This, this tension uh, just keeps building. You, you, you know there's something, it's building to something and you're not quite sure. It's got that great um, just level of mystery, but you don't ever uh, feel confused. It's proper mystery that way um and yeah the way it is it, it builds and you kind of get this sort of uh you know paranoid almost schizophrenic vibe from it uh just really masterfully done uh, great direction a really strong performance from our lead here too uh, both through the voiceover and his on-screen uh presence really just uh just draws us in and makes this just a really strong piece I really loved his performance with his narration and his acting. I think he was able to really carry this piece. Um, in the story, uh, with the editing and the directing, I think really just came to life so great. And so sadly, of course, how it ended, I feel like he was really just living in his own hell of paranoia and, you know, this relaying the story of when he was younger. And I think just... Yeah, I mean, the guy's got some mental health issues and not getting the help he needs. And so he's just in this loop in his head and almost like just being afraid of everybody um, and calling it the tiger in the subway or something. Um, interesting piece, good narration, like I said, great performance overall. Kept me wondering and intrigued the whole time. Really great pace. He's eccentric and creepy and quite funny at points. Um, I think the very idea of the tiger in the subway also the use of painting, everything really, really felt highly imaginative and unique. Um, and despite the kind of eccentric humour that it kind of starts off with, it has this slowly building sense of like creeping tension that really kind of grips you and kind of it's this underlying uneasy sense of sadness um, and fear, which all kind of comes to a head when we get a revelation of the kind of you know, childhood trauma, um, 
perceived by the tragic ending, um, which really just heightens that sense of tragedy. Uh, it's just very strange, very emotionally engaging and rewarding, really very just moving. Um, I think there was a sense of fear that was very palpable and relatable. And the way that um, the world is filmed from the main character's perspective really makes it feel real, even if we may not necessarily feel the same level of fear. And I think the film does a great job of capturing the internal perspective on the outside world and using art for that.